Well, any uh, seasoned performer knows that it's often the after party, after the official show. Fun really breaks out then. Yeah, the buzz, uh, the after chatter. and uh, So King Sharif, uh, he parts the heavy, uh, it, it's rotting under its own weight, thick burgundy Victorian curtains and uh, to diplomatically usher Sphinx into the opium smoking room. Bridal fucking chamber, and uh, oh, hmm. You might suppose what you heard so far. Uh, hip and groovy sphinx, yeah. Uh, it's probably explored every sexual lifestyle, and uh, not true. Polyamory, threesomes. Sphinx of Virgin, yeah. Uh, you know, where everybody openly loves everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, look, Sphinx is clearly a uh, charismatic lion in the jungle. <laughs> yeah, he's the reliable go-to master of ceremonies, huh? Just like last night, okay. Um, any occasion, yeah. And like any uh, stand-up comedian knows, uh, Dominate the audience. Be the tribal leader. Why? <laughs> so the audience can relax and enjoy the show. Yeah. So Sphinx is second nature, huh? Dominate the audience. Oh. Uh, tribal leader. Yeah, and also in like in his relationships, uh, like with his teenage uh, lover Rasta uh, from Crete. Now she's running the um, world headquarters in Istanbul while he's gone. Yeah, like her, like the free love hippie goddess is floating through the uh, hotel of Peace Ali. Yeah, one night stands here, huh? Mm hmm. But. But after his sweep and weep meltdown, breakthrough, Sphinx has gotten over himself. Over his thing. Me first. Gotta dominate my environment. Old self. Yeah, he's truly broken through. He's gotten a divorce from his ego. All right. But they're still friends. I mean, he, he, he's a tantric uh, adept. So he knows you don't battle your demons. That just lures you into the illusion of that they're separate from you. You get dragged into duality. True reality is non-dual. So you don't fight your demons, you don't fight cancer, you don't fight anything because it's all you. Why do you want to slug yourself in the face to wake yourself up? doesn't work like that. You recruit your demons. Like the Buddha did. He had murderers and everybody uh, in the neighborhood. They ended up being his bodyguards. You recruit your demons. You give them a new... First of all, you honor your demons for what they've done for you in your life up to now. But as you've grown more aware, uh, you reassign them. You recruit them. You reassign them to a job that's more appropriate for them. Look, it. egos are like toenails. We don't need toenails to climb trees anymore. Well, they ain't going to be going away anytime soon. So, uh, you know. So, Sphinx reassigned his demon ego. It was demanding validation every second. A new, more appropriate job. 
Now his ego is his spiritual security guard. Don't fuck with Sphinx or you're going to have to. Yeah, they're good at that. Aren't you good at that? Well, Queen Latif, she parts the um, curtain into the royal fucking chamber and <laughs> the curtain tears uh, f free from the curtain rod. Uh, limps, slides to the floor. Sphinx just rises over it at anything and not. Uh, he takes a deep breath. It smells like opium in here. And enjoys a night of warm, okay, hot, pitter patter, heart, sex, um, with both the king and queen in the Victorian. Palace of Mastujasan. And uh, yeah, in bed, uh, it's passive. When appropriate, uh, goes with the threesome flow. Uh, he's coachable by his bed partners. And that relaxes him so he can enjoy. Yeah, and the morning after. Ah, uh, mmm, uh, mmm, mmm, mmm. Finks yawns. Uh, oh, stretches and, uh, well, he unsuccessfully attempts to disentangle himself from twisted up bed sheets and, and mountains of, of goose down pillows. When a skillful lover He's not sure who uh, honors him with a good morning writhing slow motion tantric hand job. <laughs> I was blind, but now I see.